Putting together the perfect outfit isn't something that just comes naturally, something you're born with. It's something you can learn. It's something that is simple to do with the right tools. In this video, I'm gonna show you three concepts to help you put together the perfect outfit every single day. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I hope that you will hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Also, I am over on Instagram at Busby Style where I feature everyday casual mom on the go type outfit ideas. So be sure to pop over there at Busby Style there. One of the common questions that I get from viewers on a regular basis is how do you put together an outfit? How do you put together the perfect outfit? And how do you, Aaron, make it look so effortless? First of all, it's not effortless. <laughs> it takes effort. I've been focused on fashion for well over 13 years now. It's a long time. It is something that you absolutely can learn. If you watched my career story and my journey and the whole Style Reboot series, you'll know that there were moments in my life where I definitely did not feel like the most stylish person. I still have days where I'm like, hmm, that looks really bad or I look really bad right now. Happens to all of us. Nobody's perfect. Nobody steps out the door looking like Olivia Palermo every day. In this video, I wanna show you the basic concept of how to put an outfit together. I really put some time and thought into this because I was like, how do I put an outfit together? It boils down to three basic concepts. The first is picture inspiration. That's where you take a picture from the internet of a woman who's wearing an outfit you love and you recreate that look. Number two, begin with basics. That's taking you know a top and a bottom, they're both basics, and then adding on to it. And number three is to build an outfit around a statement piece. Let's do a deeper dive into these three concepts so you really understand them. I think that if you get these three concepts, literally it's gonna save you so much time, so much frustration. You're gonna stand in the closet and you're gonna go, which concept am I using today? And when you understand these concepts, it's just gonna make getting dressed every single day so much faster, so much easier, and so much more fun. And I always say like fashion should be fun, this should be fun. Like don't take it too seriously. Unless you're in a heavy duty corporate job, then of course you take it seriously. But for the rest of us, you know, we can have some fun with it. Let's take a look at concept number one in more detail. Picture inspiration. I've talked about this before, but find somebody, celebrity, politician, influencer, that has a lot of images on Google image search, right? You have to have some depth and breadth there to choose from in the wardrobe department. But find somebody with a similar body shape as yours, maybe similar coloring, maybe just somebody whose style you'd really admire and love to recreate. Save some of those looks create an album on your iPhone. Use that as a go-to for when you're feeling stuck and not sure what to wear. So I just did a quick Pinterest search, just outfit ideas, typed it in, found this woman who has like edgy short bangs. She has very similar coloring to me. She's also blonde. She looks like she might be a little taller, but I really loved what she was wearing. It felt really modern, but also really sophisticated, which is right up my street. So I also love the puppy shoulder shirt that she has on. You guys have been around long enough to know. I love a puffy shirt. I saw this outfit, I was like, I can recreate this, I can make it my own, I really love this look. So this is the type of thing that you're going to do for concept number one. When you're feeling a little bit stuck, turn to those pictures for inspiration. Turn to other people for inspiration. I saw her puffy shirt, I just got a new bodysuit by Astra the Label that is a very similar look and feel. It is a little bit on the sexier side though. It has more of a plunging neckline. I love this bodysuit so much. It's just so pretty, but also sexy. I could see wearing it on date night. I could see wearing it out for a girl's night or just for a holiday small gathering that you might have when you wanna feel a little bit more woo woo. So grabbing my Astro the Label bodysuit, grabbing a pair of moussey baggier jeans because in the picture she is wearing baggier jeans and I'm very inspired by that. I've told you guys that's a huge trend right now, you know, getting away from that super tight silhouette to a more loose silhouette. Also grabbed a pair of black booties. These are pair I got last year at the Nordstrom sale. They are no longer available, unfortunately. You're gonna look in your closet and see what you already have. That's the whole idea, using what you already have, shopping your own closet. So I am in essence shopping my closet. An outfit isn't as simple as finding a cute top and throwing on a pair of jeans. It is a little bit more complex than that, but it's not complicated. I'm gonna grab my cute top, I'm gonna grab my jeans and my booties, but now I wanna really elevate the look with accessories. I'm grabbing some Dean Davidson pieces cocktail ring and paperclip lariat necklace. Also grabbing my really pretty Julie Voss 
gold bracelets. I wear these all the time. I love them so much. And then a handbag, a belt, and of course you're gonna need outerwear if you're not in a warmer climate. So let's start putting this together. So I'm gonna start with the bodysuit and the jeans and the booties. Once I have that, I'm gonna add my jewelry, add the lariat necklace. I feel like the neckline just calls for a necklace. Now here's where if you're gonna wear a necklace like this that does really pack a punch, you don't necessarily need earrings. You could do maybe just a little pair of studs or something really small in your ears. Then I added my bracelets, my cocktail ring, and then I am throwing on my Valentino reversible waist belt. This is one of my favorites, but you could get a simpler version of this that's not gonna be quite as expensive. And then to cap it off, I'm adding my Prada gold and brown Kaye bag. If I was going out to meet somebody, of course I would need a jacket and I would have a couple of options there. I could do like a sportier puffer. This one is a puffer jacket by Blank Noir. I've showed you guys this before. I wear it all the time. The other option could be something a little more elegant and refined so you can add this sort of elegance to the whole look with your outerwear. Here's an example. It's a Ralph Lauren camel wrap coat and it does really dial up the sophistication of the whole look. So whereas the other puffer sort of made it a little sportier, this coat makes it a bit more elegant and sophisticated. So it just depends on what you're doing, what you're feeling, what's, what's going on. You've got to factor in the function element, right? So for everything that you're picking, what is it that would be the most functional, but also feel the most fashionable and make you feel special when you put it on? You also could take inspiration from this picture and go in a slightly different direction and kind of make it your own a little bit more. So let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So instead of kind of this literal translation of the puffy blouse and the baggy jeans and the cool black booties, let's try it with more of like a black edgy t-shirt. This one is made out of a really thin spandex modal, so it tucks in beautifully. And it has this cool like cutout detail at the shoulder, but you can still wear a regular bra with it. So this would be much more casual. Then you don't necessarily always have to wear a waist belt. Like let's say you're not feeling the waist belt that day, you don't have to wear them. Because this feels sportier, slightly more casual, instead of the really bold gold jewelry, I'm just doing one kind of edgy silver cuff and also a silver ring. I also added a cuff to the jeans jeans, kind of quirky and fun, but you can see how you can take something and interpret it and create it and make it your total own look just from looking at one picture. It's really incredible. It just gets your mind going, creativity flowing, it's fun, and it makes the whole process simpler. So definitely save those pictures on your phone, save them to an album, maybe you save by season, and then recreate those looks. Concept number two is to begin with basics. So so let's just say you're not really sure what you're gonna be doing that day, you're gonna be running errands, you've got a thousand things to do. You really wanna be comfortable, so you throw on two comfortable basics. In my case, I'm gonna take an express lightweight white rib sweater that I have, and also a pair of Luxknit Express High Rise Dark Wash Skinny Jeans. Both of these are really soft, both of them are really comfortable, both of them make me feel secure, like the jeans make me feel secure, even if I'm feeling bloated. It's just, they're just two solid basics, right? I've got my two basics. Now I'm going to make the outfit kind of come to life. And I'm going to show you a few concepts so you get the idea. So first I'm going to add my Julie Voss bracelets, the same ones I'm wearing right now. I love those. I've got this really cool Oscar de la Renta bee necklace, bee for Busby that I love and I'm adding that. Then for shoes, I just got these C by Chloe lug sole boots that are, um, are faux shearling on the front and I love them. I think they're so cool and they're perfect for this climate. So if I'm walking around in Telluride on the sidewalks or in the road where it's a little bit icy, a little bit snowy, a little bit slushy, I have no trouble in these boots, but they also have a heel. So I don't feel like frumpy. I feel like still sexy and I'm adding a little height and length with these boots. And then my new mother faux shearling jacket. It's been pretty warm lately, like in the 40s. That's warm for us. This is like the perfect weight of jacket. And then to finish off the look, my Prada brown and black Kaye bag. Now there's no black in my outfit, but I love this brown tone in the bag and I love the way it looks with all the other brown tones in the look. So you can see where adding these extras makes the whole thing just all of a sudden, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do the dial, 
Whoop, you guys know I love the dial. Totally elevates. It's a game changer, right? Let me show you another concept. So taking those same two basics, I add a really lovely, sophisticated, tailored camel blazer. This one's by Smith or Smythe, not sure how you say it. It's the Duchess blazer. I also have this blazer in red. It's perfect for petites, by the way. And then some Fendi flats. So these flats, I was just trying out, wanted to see because they have both black and brown. Brown's very subtle, by the way, but I loved the look of the flats and as you guys know I've been on a quest for the most comfortable flats that are also the most stylish for a long time the search continues we'll talk about that another day <laughs> but these flats are really comfortable and they're super 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 chic and I love the versatility of having both black and brown in the shoe so you could do something like that then throw your black and brown bag over your shoulder or you could go in another direction entirely if it's a cooler day you've got snow it's chilly it's like 20 degrees grab your heavier pocket this one is a Michael Kors puffer that I featured recently in my outerwear video, must have outerwear. This one is that luscious chocolate brown with the, like the sheen to it. I just love this jacket. It's slightly oversized, which is another great trend for winter, the oversized puffer and jacket. And then on my feet, the Sorel boots that I got during the Nordstrom sale, they're in that same chocolate brown tone, but they also, notice they also have a heel, they also have that rubber lug sole. So they give me traction and they also give me the height that I'm looking for for as well as I think they are quite stylish. So you have to consider again, what am I doing? Where am I going? What do I need to wear to be functional? But this is a really simple way to start an outfit is to just grab two go-to basics that you love to wear that you feel really comfortable wearing and then build on the basics. By the way, if you don't know what basics you're supposed to have, remember I do give out freebie checklists when you subscribe to my email newsletter. The link to subscribe to my email newsletter Letter is in the description box of every video. Subscribe, get those freebies, print them, download them, and take them with you in your closet to see, okay, I've got this check, got this check, or not, right? Or not. But basics, starting with basics is always a really simple way to create your outfit for the day. It doesn't take a lot of brain power. You're just great. You're beelining for those solid basics that you're very comfortable in, and then you're building the outfit around those solid basics. Concept number three, statement pieces. That means taking a statement piece out of your closet. That's the piece that you bought that you absolutely love, that you labored over whether to buy because it's not the most practical, but you bought it anyway because it just brings you so much joy. Taking that statement piece and building your outfit around the statement piece. So let me show you a couple of examples. The first example I wanna show you, I'm taking a recent purchase. It's a blouse in a camouflage print by Alice and Olivia. This blouse has a very dramatic puff shoulder sleeve combo as as well as a mock neck. And it's just really cool and funky, but also feminine. And I love, love, love the mix between masculinity and femininity or edgy feminine. And I feel like this blouse like is the perfect mix of both. Like camo print is very masculine and the shape of the sleeves and the blouse itself is very feminine. So I wanted to build an outfit around this. And so I grabbed my dark wash high rise skinny jeans by Legence and I also grabbed grab my C by Chloe combat boots. I felt like the camo and the combat boot would really work well together and that the combat boot would kind of bring down, again, some of the girliness or femininity of the blouse. I just really love that combo. Plus, again, I'm thinking about what am I doing? This is an outfit that I wore to run some errands, grab the kids from school. I needed a pair of boots that would be functional in slushy, snowy, rainy kind of weather, wet weather, right? Wet sidewalks and roads. So these are another pair of C by Chloe Chloe lugged boots that are really functional for me in this climate. You could easily wear a pair of flats or a pair of Chelsea booties or anything that you have in your closet. This was what I grabbed out of my closet. So for accessories with this look, I wanted to pair this green blouse with a couple of new pieces I got by Dean Davidson that are also green. The stones are green. So I grabbed these stud earrings, which are green, and also a green cocktail ring. And then around my neck, I have on a very very simple gold lariat necklace by Goriana. So the jewelry is all pretty small and it's not super heavy or in your face, which is by design because again, we're working with the statement piece. So when you're styling a statement piece, you may wanna dial back on your accessories. It doesn't mean you skip the accessories, but maybe just dial it back a little bit. So I've got on the ring, the, the stud earrings, the lariat necklace, and then I grab my small Chanel quilted boy bag. 
For outerwear, I wanted to show you something a little bit more glam. So remember I said the shoes really work to kind of, you know, butt heads with the femininity of the blouse. So to offset the masculinity of the boots, I wanted to do the faux fur. So I was just showing you with a faux fur jacket and a nice ivory. So it looks very much that perfect mix of edgy femininity or edgy elegance. You could also do even more elegant with like, let's say that camel coat that I showed you in the beginning, but just thinking about your outerwear, not using it as a throwaway, like I'm running out the door and I just grab whatever coat I have, like really thoughtfully thinking about what outerwear you're wearing with the outfit and does it elevate the outfit or does it bring the outfit down? You really wanna coordinate the whole look and think of the whole look as a complete concept, not just, I got my cute top on and that's it, right? Obviously there's a lot more thought that goes into it than that. Let me show you another example with this blouse that I'm wearing. It's a one shoulder bodysuit by Amanda Upprichard. You guys know I love Amanda Upprichard tops. They're so, so pretty. They're always really fun and modern. So I'm always kind of scoping out what does Amanda Upprichard have going on right now? You know, that and frame. You guys know I love frame tops too. I also like Aster the Label. There are several brands that are my go-tos for really pretty cool tops. For the Amanda Upprichard top, I didn't want to do a necklace because I felt like the the neckline was a bit short. It cuts off because of the diagonal shape of the neckline. So I wanted to do bracelets instead and also just little earrings and some rings. So I've got cocktail rings on. I've got one by Julie Voss. And then I have another one by Monica Vinader. This is a new one. And then my Julie Voss bracelets and some stud earrings. I also added a lip color to match the top. So that's something you can always think about as well. I have in the same Le Jean Stark Wash high rise skinny jeans. And then I could do a bunch of different things on my feet here. I could do some Jimmy Choo Romy pumps or black pumps. I could do some really chic black flats, or I could do some really fun like and sexy shoots boots. I've showed you guys these boots before. They're amazing. It adds this sexiness to this already sexy top. The top is very elegant and ladylike, and I feel like the boots are like a little bit of a party. You know, you got a little party going on down there. <laughs> I like to think in terms of contrast and balance. I finished it off with my Chanel boy bag, and you've got a really lovely, beautiful at-home holiday look where you feel festive, but you also are comfortable. You don't feel like it was a tremendous effort. Let's recap those three really important concepts that I promise are gonna save you so much time and aggravation. It's gonna help you put together outfits that are more stylish and elevated in a simpler way. It also is really fun to think about. So first, you're gonna use picture inspiration. You're gonna save those pictures on your phone. You're gonna refer back to it when you need it. Second concept is to build from your basics. Grab two go-to basics, build your outfit around those basics. Third concept is to use a statement piece. A statement piece like a wow top or a a wow pair of shoes and building your whole outfit around that statement piece. The key with the statement piece is to keep everything else pretty neutral and quiet, but don't skip on accessories. You have to add the accessories. You also have to thoughtfully grab your outerwear. Don't just grab a coat on the way out the door. Think about what jacket or coat would look best with that overall outfit. If you do these things, and it does take minimal effort, a little bit of time and a little bit of effort, but the more you do them, it's like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. The more you do that and use these concepts, the easier and faster it will get. I literally can go from sweaty workout in my bedroom to out the door looking really stylish and presentable in 10 minutes. It's because I know what to do. So if you just think about these concepts in the back of your mind, you too can go from sweaty gross workout in your room to lunch in 10 minutes. I promise you. It's very simple. Do you have questions? Please put those in the comments below. Any thoughts? We will put links to everything that I featured in this video in the description box below. I know a lot of it's on the pricier side, so we'll put options for less as well. But again, this isn't about, oh, I really want that piece that Erin showed me. This is about you understanding how to build that perfect outfit every day and then using the pieces that you have in your closet, shopping your very own closet, making your life simpler. That's what it's about. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Maybe share my channel with a friend. I'd really appreciate that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate your support. I hope you like the new scenery. This is our temporary house. We'll be here till probably June, maybe July. We'll see. We're really happy here. We love it. It's a special house. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks you guys. Bye.